Summer 2012, paper two. So we have a cylindrical rolling pin. And the first thing we need to know is the surface area. So we are going to have circles at the top and the bottom which are identical. And we can see that they have a radius of three. The area of one circle will be pi times r squared, so that is pi times 9, 9 pi. So if we have the circle then at the bottom, its area will also be 9 pi. The curved area can then be unfolded, and that gives us a rectangle. And it will have the length, which is 40. The width is the circumference of a circle, so that's 2 pi r. So in this case, that's 2 times pi times 3, 6 pi. So the curved surface area will be 6 pi times 40, so that's 240 pi. So the total area will be 240 pi plus 9 pi plus 9 pi. So that's plus 18 pi, and that gives us an answer of 258 pi. I've waited until the end of the question to use my calculator. You could have used your calculator at any stage within these calculations. Typing 258 pi in, I get 810.5. Because the answer is in the hundreds, a reasonable degree of accuracy would be to the nearest 100 or nearest 10 and I'm going to go to the nearest 10 which gives me an answer of 810 centimeters squared. Each letter represents a length so if we look at the first term we have 4a squared. Um, we can ignore the 4 that's dimensionless which means we have an area on the top and on the bottom we have an area plus an area so with the square root of an area, and that is a length. If we divide an area by a length, then we end up with a length. If we then consider the second, again we can ignore the pi, it's dimensionless. We have three lengths on the top, which is going to give us a volume. And in the bottom we have a length times an area, which is also a volume. So we have a volume divided by a volume, and that gives us none of these. If we then consider the third. Outside the bracket, we have a length. And inside the bracket, we have a length plus a length, which is just a length. And a length times a length is an area. Firstly, we need to complete the tree diagram, and on the first set of branches, if the probability is 7 tenths and probabilities add to 1, then the probability of it being wet must be 3 tenths. If it is dry, the probability that we go for a walk, so dry and walk, is 3 fifths. Again, using the fact that probabilities add to 1, then no walk must be 2 fifths. If it is wet, the probability that I go for a walk is one-fifth, which means the probability of no walk is four-fifths. We want to work out the probability that on a day in March we go for a walk. So we're interested in this outcome and this outcome. When we are working along the branches of a tree diagram, we multiply. So the first one will be seven-tenths times 3 fifths which gives us 21 fiftieths and the second one will be 3 tenths times 1 fifth so we have 3 tenths times 1 fifth that gives us 3 fiftieths adding those together we have 24 fiftieths and simplifying our answer we get 12 twenty fifths